to Super Fun Awesome Happy Time Shoreline Gold Guitar Show. My name is Gabor. Hey, welcome along. I'm Alex. We're going to check out this Starcaster today from Fender. Please hit like and subscribe on our video first up. Do us a favor, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, ding the bell, all that good stuff. Please do. And this lovely Shoreline Gold guitar was supplied by Fender, so this is what you would call a sponsored video right from the beginning. And hello to Fender Australia. Now, Alex. G'day. It's the Tom DeLong Signature Star Caster in shoreline satin finish, shoreline gold. Yeah, you can see the satin off the lights there. Yeah, yeah. Lovely, lovely guitar. Cool, cool. Um, should we start off with some specs? Yeah, so we know what we're talking about. Yeah. So it comes in four colours. It comes in the aforementioned shoreline gold. Correct. And it also comes in surf green. Mm. Now, the shoreline gold and surf green have chrome hardware, so the, the bridge and tail, and tail piece and the... Um, tuners are uh, chrome. Then we have an Olympic white and also a, a shell pink one. Now they come with black hardware and a black knob. Mm. So the one with the chrome hardware have a white knob. The other one have a black knob. Uh, specs wise, we have a Seymour uh, Duncan SH5 custom Duncan custom pickup, which I believe is a slightly overwound PAF style pickup, but has a sort of clarity of a PAF, but slightly overwound. Not quite overwound to JB kind of standards, nope. but um, overwound anyway. We have a master vibe and control with a treble bleed circuit. We have a roasted maple modern C shaped neck. I'll show you that right now. Check it out. It's modern and it's C shaped. Dark brown. Yeah, yeah. We have uh, a 12 inch radius slab rosewood fingerboard with medium jumbo frets. That way, yep. We have uh, fender locking tuning machine heads. These things. And we have a custom Tom DeLong neck plate and signature headstock decal. This guy. And also, the, the, the strap button is on the neck plate instead of the top horn like it usually is. Um, and that's all the specs. There aren't a whole uh, lot of specs there. Um, there's no push pull, there's no switching, just no, one knob as far no, as controls no. go. Uh, Indonesian made. Yep. Does not come with a case or a bag, but uh, I've been carrying around coming here to Alex's studio in a, just a mono case, oh, like a standard mono case, and it fits. It's maybe yep. a little snugger fit, but it fits. So I think hard case wise, you probably have to get a specific hard case for that. But if you, in, a, in a soft bag, it fits most soft bags. It's not that big. It's not quite as big as a full jazz box type. No. Body Maybe I put up a picture that next to a three two five star guitar sure. just to see what the, what just, the um, for case wise the difference is. Yeah. Um, okay. Should we plug it in and do some clean sounds? Hear that. Let's. So you know what you're hearing. We go through a Monstrous amp switcher over in the rack there. Cherry Tone OTS MIDI 20 head set clean. Double so style. So far. And a two dose torpedo kept X for the cab sims, IRs, verb, etc. etc. And we can um, turn on. Here it goes. Here it is. I love uh, Blink-102 in their rockabilly and sort of R&B yeah. phase. That was, was a, a great album, that. Little known uh, <laughs> B-side. No, I mean, everyone yeah. else plays Blink stuff. We don't play Blink stuff for this. It's a Blink-102 guitar. Treating it as a guitar. Have, have you ever been a massive Blink fan or a big... little bit in the high school. I grade, mean, you know. when they were running down naked in the street and the... In the film clip and all that stuff, you know, that was kind of funny. And you go, oh, that, yeah. they're cool. But yeah, I was never a massive fan, so yeah. In the in the last century, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, you could do, last do that. Alex in his punk face. Yes, obviously. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, one pickup, there's not much you can do. The uh, treble bleed circuit is quite nice. It does yeah. add a different... It adds quite a few different tonalities into it by... Um, Turn the volume down a bit. Should we quickly maybe have a look at another clip? Let's do that. 
Let's. clip that was Alex either you or me playing it was just uh, <laughs> no doubt it was awesome it was beautiful it was definitely awesome uh, big thank you also to Tom at Elevated Jam Tracks uh, and check out Elevated Jam Tracks there's a link in the description below best backing tracks on the interweb Ooh. and I thought uh, because it's only one pickup I'll do a little bit of clean playing too because we're different style players sure. just so you can hear what it sounds like uh, with you know thick pick plate heavily <laughs> The amp is set up exactly the same, so let's do the, the tremble thing. It's probably a little bit hotter because that's actually pushing it to crunch. Yeah. It's a nice chimey sound, I think, that pickup. It's sure. it's it does have that PAF style, that kind of chiminess, for lack of a better word. Do you want to try backing that input gain off and get it really clean? Just sorry, on the on the amp I meant. On the amp, okay. Yeah. Just like super clean. <laughs> It's an it, it, the pickup definitely sounds. Like, it's a sweet sounding guitar. It's not angry. It's it has some weight to it. Has when, weights to it, but we inevitably push a distortion pedal into sweet. It. Well, should we now do the dirty channel on the amp? Let's check that out uh, and see what that sounds like. So it's same settings, everything, just dirty channel. <laughs> Cool. 
Sick. Can I play some dirty stuff? Sure. Come on, mad punk rock thing. <laughs> I haven't thought about that good profession <laughs> before I started. Um, well, yeah. thoughts. It's pretty cool. It's very much its own thing. Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't feel like any other guitar, really. Now, uh, just so you know, it does have a center block. It's all quite hollow. Yeah. But it's got a solid block through yeah. the center. Yeah, yeah. It probably resist uh, feedback issues if you're going high gain. Yeah, arched front and back as well. Uh, um, it's a nice guitar. I... I, I I know it's a bit of a polarizing guitar on the interwebs because of the price. And I mean, we should talk about that as well. Um, comes out of Indonesia. A lot of people say same factory as the Squire stuff, but it's, a, you know, more than double the price of a Squire. Yep. Um, have you ever played any of the Starcaster Squires? No. I've played one ages ago. Okay. Um, and I remember liking it. But I remember, I think it was quite a different neck. Yeah. I really, one thing I really like about this is the neck. I like roasted maple. Feels good. Uh, but I like rosewood as well. And I like the combination of roasted maple with rosewood. I think there's a contemporary series squire that has a rosewood board. Yeah. Like rosewood, uh, not sorry, not rosewood board, um, roasted maple board. And so it's a neck and board roasted maple. Sure. The squire contemporary. Right. But the classic vibe or whatever they're called now. Uh, that's just a, all maple. Um, gotcha. I do like the rosewood on this. I think it does add something to it visually as well. I think we both commented it would be kind of cool to have the original Starcaster shaped headstock. Yeah, and and with that because this is the big seventies style strat thing. And with the bottom bit the same color as the you know. Sure. Because it's got that kind of recessed bit. True. Have that the same color as the guitar, which I think again they're doing in a contemporary the contemporary Squire. With the two kind of EMG style humbuckers, the active humbuckers. Yep. I think there's actually even a gold one, and I think it's a matte finish as well. And I think it has a the matching thing on the bottom bit of the headstock. Um, I do. I gotta say, I do really like this guitar. It is a very likable guitar. Yeah. It's quite loud acoustically as well when you're playing it. So. So That's at home, it it's one of those guitars I like playing at home. Because you can play it almost like an acoustic. It's like a quiet acoustic when you play at night when sure. the kids are asleep. But it sound. I, I think it's a good sounding guitar, well playing guitar. Now, would you pay? Uh, yeah. Well, it's about two thousand Australian dollars. I'm not sure what that's whatever it is overseas. Mm -hmm. um, would you pay that much for it? Well, it's probably on the upper end of like a like no bag or anything as well. True. I mean, you, you, you're paying for Fender written on it yeah. instead of Squire, and you're paying for Tom DeLonge written on it, because I'm, I'm guessing he gets a cut out of it. I think it's... One thing I think about it, it's a little bit more versatile than you might first think. Yeah, even though it only has one pickup, yeah, it definitely yeah. is, yeah. You can also play, like, some blues and rockabilly stuff. Well, I mean, that's what we sort of tried to do in this video. We yeah. not really play the, punk, play the punk thing like every other demo, probably, you see from this does. We sort of tried to show that you can do a few Just other things as well. Treat as a guitar in the box. It's it's if you're not a Tom DeLonge fan, it's still a cool guitar. I mean, like I said, I'm not a big Blink One Eight Two fan. I know a few of their songs, and I didn't mind some of their songs when I was younger. Yep. Um, you know, and I'll, I'll tap my toes and my finger on the steering wheel as I'm driving if it comes on on the radio. But I'm I'm not a fan, like huge fan. Yeah. But I do like the guitar. I mean, the Strat doesn't do anything for me. Sure. If one single pickup Strat, I would never buy one. Doesn't do anything for me, but. This, I like the shape, I like the colours, I like the idea of it, I like the look of it. Um, I, I think it's a good good guitar. Well, what do you guys think? Leave us a little comment below the video. Yeah, please do, please do. Have you tried uh, one? All the outrage on the pricing, put it down below, please. Um, and availability and colours and all that sort of stuff. I do like the colours. I like yeah. the... I mean, it's a punky sort of thing. But they're kind of that 60s surf colours. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I like uh, and like I said, this is definitely if I had a choice out of the four colors, this would be my fourth choice. Sure. 
but I do like it in in person and playing it with that sort of roasted um, maple and the rosewood. It it works. It's it's a nice color. Well, should we leave it there? Let's leave it there. Wasted enough for the internet. Yes. Hey, thanks again to Fend Australia. You guys have been awesome. Help us Jack and everyone there, thank you so much. guitars to play. So, um, thanks for that. Yeah. And thanks for watching. If you made it this far, cheers, good on yous. You, that's right, you. And I'm going to put up uh, a playlist of all the Fender stuff we've done uh, right here. Can't and you, you should watch it. See. You. No, no, not you. You. Watch it. <laughs>